This is Dr. Ashley Brissett showing some important considerations when performing cataract surgery under a corneal transplant because you want to ensure long-term survival of the corneal graft. The irregular astigmatism and also the graft-host junction makes the view more challenging in these cases. I find that frequent topical balanced salt solution is really important to keep the epithelium well hydrated. I also like to use tripan blue in these cases because I find that it helps to aid in construction of my capsular rexus because sometimes the edge of the graft can make the visualization difficult in construction of your rexus. I also like to use a dispersive viscoelastic to protect the corneal endothelium. This is extremely important and don't be afraid to replace the viscoelastic if needed at regular intervals during the surgery. The wound construction is also extremely important. You wanna make sure to stay away from the edge of the graft. Here I'm also using the Zeiss Lumera microscope with the Callisto system, and it's projecting the rexus size of 5.2 millimeters, and I find this also helps to aid in construction of my rexus. You can see here that the optics of the graft host junction can sometimes make the construction of your rexus somewhat deceiving. And so I find that following along with the projection can aid in this. I remove some of the viscoelastic. And then perform a gentle hydrodissection and tapping back the nucleus. Because this was a dense cataract, I did a modified stop and chop technique for nuclear disassembly. During your nucleus removal, you want to be quite cautious of the amount of energy using. And again, feel free to replace your dispersive viscoelastic at regular intervals to protect the endothelium if needed. The cortical removal here is quite easy, and that was aided in part by a good hydrodissection. I like to use an angled McPherson to provide counter traction. This is the preloaded Technus lens. I like these, I find they inject fairly well. And you can center the lens using the injector as well. Sometimes with these preloaded lenses, the haptics tend to stick together. I find that when I go in to remove the viscoelastic, just a gentle nudge on these haptics, sometimes even with a second instrument, will help to let them unfold. Wound closure is also an important consideration. Because you've tried to stay away from the graft edge, you need to make sure that these wounds close very well. If needed, you can employ Richer sealant or a corneal suture. Thank you.